All right. So today we're going to be talking about uh, um, a chip shortage around the world. And no, these chips are not the potato chips. They are electronic chips for electronics, as you would yes. probably guess. Um, it's from the COVID-19 pandemic, as you probably know is happening currently. Um, many people in, in like lockdown and whatever bought a lot of electronics, such as cars, gaming consoles, PCs, uh, mm -hmm. VR headsets, all of the above. So that, that really plowed down the, um, the amount of chips that are around the world. What say you, Alex? Well, I would say the same thing. Um, a lot of small car or yeah, would um, I, I, I honestly can't speak today. I don't know why, but I honestly can't <laughs> speak. Um, but yeah, again, the chip shortage is hurting everything from the PlayStation 5 to the Chevy Malibu. So it's hurting cars, it's hurting uh, it's hurting PlayStations, it's hurting Xboxes, it's hurting game consoles, PCs, whatever has a chip in it. And so um, I guess it's since everybody's been home, um, there's been a huge boom in electronic sales. So everybody wants to buy monitors, PCs, uh, other things for working at home, remotely. Uh, Just socializing as well. Yes. Um these then, these chips, their their sale prices have exp been expected to grow eight point four percent in their from their original price, just because of their high demand. Like PlayStation Five, as you knew, was semi recently released, and it's um th th it's really hard to get, and we don't know why. But Sony has told us that the reason why is because. There's a chip shortage and PC market has never had higher selling prices since 2010. That's over 10 years. And this is the highest it's ever been just because the prices have had to be raised. Um, yeah. And part, part of this from what I've heard is from um, former president Trump of the United States. He started a quote unquote trading war with China. Um, but mm. that's that's just that's just what I've learned. I don't know if that's true. We're kids. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know nothing. But basically the the um this big chip shortage is causing um big big problems and a lot of people don't like it because well there's from like I said, everything from cars to game. We consoles, want our video PCs. games, dang it! Yeah, everybody is getting affected. So adults are getting affected, kids are getting affected. Basically, everybody's getting affected, and so it's hurting everything. And it's also been a it's also been a huge success success at the same time for big companies like Microsoft and Sony and lots for, lots of selling, lots of selling. Yes, lots of selling for their. Um, for their products. So it's good and it's bad. There's some pros and there's some cons to it. Uh, depending on who you ask, it could be a different response. So some people might say it's great because companies are getting uh, more money. They're progressing more in their company. They're releasing new technology. Uh, some people would say that it's not good in the form of that you have to wait like it's harder to find months. them. Yeah, it's harder to find them. You have to wait longer for your chips, and it's um, it's almost impossible to find them. But because they're just flying off the shelf so fast. But um, now and um, yeah. what another really big thing is think about it. Think about it for a second. You as a car dealership or a car creator manufacturer, whatever, I don't know the term, made a $30,000 car, let's say. If this one component, this one small portion of the car is missing, you can't sell that car. You just wasted a lot of money on a car you can't sell because you're missing one part. And that one part is these electronic chips, these superconductors, these whatever. So that's it's really taking a big toll on the uh, car manufacturers of the world. 
I, I'd say, yeah. in my opinion, that's probably the biggest downfall of selling that has happened because of these chips. Um, see, for PCs, it's good because they've upped their prices by 9%. People are buying more, uh, but they are harder to find, but they've made money. Uh, but for cars, you know, it's yeah. the exact opposite. Yeah, so... Like again, it's it's it depends on who you ask. Like Owen said, it's it's can be good and it's kind of kind of be bad. For different companies, it can be good. It can be bad. For different, when you ask different people, it can be good or or bad. But um, yeah, so that's that's gonna be it for today's episode. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Yeah. See ya. Bye.